All right, everybody, welcome back. Bearded Drums here, your personal drum nerd. So for today's episode, we are going to be doing a little DIY project build to help manage with all those accessories that come along with playing drums. So let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Now, if you have watched the two previous episodes I have done that involve my stick bag, that would be what's in my stick bag episode and traveling with drums, you know that I have been using this little guy right here. This is the Yamaha freestanding stick bag, and I actually believe that this is made by DW now. Well, I love this stick bag. It has served me well for a very long time. It holds a lot of accessories. It holds a ton of sticks. But one thing that I love about this bag the most is the fact that it has this little tabletop feature to it. I can set my wallet, I can set my keys, my cell phone, my watch while I'm playing and get them out of the way. Well, I've had this bag for a little while now. It's starting to get kind of worn out. Some of the seams are coming loose. The zippers are starting to wear out and it has come time to replace this. But I have become so used to the idea of a freestanding stick bag. The options for my replacement are very small, much less something that I can bring to this channel to review for you. Now there are a lot of great options for stick bags out there and there are actually some great freestanding stick bags but none of them offer this tabletop option like my Yamaha does. So when searching for a replacement and especially something that has a tabletop or some kind of area that I can set my accessories on. My options are so limited. Obviously I can look at the typical drummer's accessory tray that would mount to like your hi-hat stand. And there is actually a little custom build that is done by British Drum Company. It's called the Drum Butler. And it basically is the same thing. It mounts to the side of a cymbal stand or your hi-hat stand and it holds your accessories. And being that I'm such a DIY type person and I'm always looking to produce the results myself, that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to attempt to build a little drummer's accessory tray, or basically you can call it a drummer's caddy. Something that can hold all of my accessories while I'm playing and even possibly support a normal stick bag. Now what we're going to use for the body or the template of our project today is this little guy. This is an old pearl marching quad. And basically what I'm going to try to do is mount a piece of wood to the top to cut the slots in that will hold all the accessories. And I'm even going to possibly try to mount floor tom legs to this so that it can be freestanding and support the weight of a normal stick bag. So let's pop over to the workshop so I can give you a closer look at how I'm going to do this and we can get started with the build. And remember, if you like this style of content, go ahead and toss this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so we are here in the workshop and I have the little drum that I'm going to use to make this product. As I said, this is a tom off of a set of quads. And the only thing that I haven't shown and I'm not going to show in this video is I have taken the finish off, sanded it down, removed all the hardware. You don't want to watch that. It's very boring. So it's now sanded down, ready to go, and we'll probably end up staining this when we get done. Um, but for now, we're not going to need this. What we're going to need right now is the top piece of wood that is going to go under the rim. That's going to provide the top piece with the slots in it to hold the different accessories. So now I'm going to get my little jigsaw out and see if it's big enough to cut this piece of wood. I have a lot of random tools in here. I am not a woodworker. I'm not a craftsman. So if I sit here and make some mistakes that you might find obvious, just kind of bear with me. I'm usually good at making stuff work. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of fumble my way through this, but we should be able to make it work. All right, so we've got our top piece, and I think it's the right size. I'm gonna put it on the rim, or rather under the rim right now, to make sure it fits just right. If not, I'll have to sand it down a little bit, but let's see, let me grab the rim. All right, so we've got our rim. Let's see if it's gonna fit under there. And look at that, fits right under there. All right, so now we have our top piece, and this is what I'm gonna cut the slotting into for the phone, the watch, some drumsticks, all the different accessories, 
and I actually I thought I was gonna mess it up but I didn't it actually fits quite nicely so we can set that aside to now for now and what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to cut the second piece which is gonna be a little bit smaller and this is gonna go underneath this top piece inside of the drum to give a base for everything to rest on when I set it inside All right, so we've got that cut. Let's see how this fits in here. Look at that. That's pretty good for somebody who does not. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty good. It's almost perfect as if I kind of knew what I was doing. So that's going to work just fine. That's going to hold. And it's not like I've got any change or anything really small going in here. So that's going to work perfect. So we've got our top piece cut. We now have our bottom piece cut. So now all we have to do, because the rim is going to hold, where's my piece? Because the rim is going to hold the top piece on, and with the bottom piece underneath, which will be probably about right here, to stop everything that's in here. So now what we have to do is figure out a way to connect these two pieces. I could either try to glue this piece to the shell, which I don't really want to do, or I could take some longer pieces of wood and glue from the top of this piece down to this piece, which is probably what I'm going to do. I've got some scrap wood laying around, so I'm just going to cut four, maybe five small pieces of wood and put them around the edge and glue them from the top to the bottom. So basically the top piece is holding the bottom piece in place. All right, so now I have my little five support struts drumstick pieces so basically these are going to be screwed in on the bottom and we'll go ahead and do that now i found myself some short screws they're not all matching but it doesn't really matter because this is the underside you're not going to see it it just has to be a nice tight secure fit all right so let's go ahead and try and connect all this and actually before i forget i always try to remember when i'm putting screws in something and I don't want it to come out, I always put some wood glue on the screws. All right, well that looks pretty good. I've got my posts all in place. They are screwed in from the bottom with some good screws that have wood glue on them so we know that once that sets, it's not going anywhere. Now we have to figure out how to accurately attach this to the top piece. All right, so it's the next day and I've kind of figured out how I wanna lay all this out. I actually had to go to the hardware store and pick up some small L brackets and some screws and some wood putty to kind of finish this product up. It was about $10. So I'm really only in about $10 for this project as a whole, everything else I had here in the shop. Um, being that I really do not want to drill screws into the top plate because it's going to be stained and that's going to be the thing you see first. I'm not going to go the route of screwing through with the bottom piece. I'm actually going to connect the bottom piece with the L brackets inside of the shell. So the L brackets will be on the bottom of this bottom plate and it'll mount from that to the inside of the shell and that will hold everything in place nice and tight. These are the little L brackets I went and bought. And as far as the shell is concerned, I have drilled myself some holes for some floor time brackets. That's how this is going to stand up. So I've got those pre-drilled. I'm going to remove the lugs here in a second and go ahead and put the first coat of the stain on there. And while that's drying, we'll come back and I'll make a little template and kind of lay out how I want to drill and cut the holes for the top plate for all the accessories. All right, so we are nearing the end of the build. We have basically gotten all the major parts done. The shell is actually outside drying. I've put a couple of coats of uh, stain on it. I'm not going to show that because it's kind of boring to watch, but I will show you how I stain the top piece when we get to it. I have my bottom piece here, which is going to keep everything in place and from falling through, and I actually cut these pieces of wood down just a little bit so everything pops out of the top just right. I have my top piece here, and I actually cut myself a little stencil for the water bottle, for my phone, for my watch, for the drumsticks, and I have traced it onto the top piece of wood. 
So this is going to be the most complicated part and where I'm going to have to be the most meticulous. I'm going to have to get the jigsaw out and cut these very small holes and I'm going to show you how I do that so we'll go to the overhead shot. We have reached the end. All the pieces are done, prepped and ready, and we are ready for final assembly. You can see here I've got my shell all done with the finish done, nice and sanded. This has been sitting up for a couple days, so this is nice and cured. It's ready to go. You can see here that I've got my top plate all done, and if you look at this footage, you'll see that I had to do quite a bit of fine sanding with my Dremel tool to get all the edges nice and round so that it doesn't scratch like the phone or anything that's going to be going in this accessory carrier. And also you can see I've gone ahead and stained it and if you look at this footage right here, this is me staining it. It was very easy. I might not have been doing it correctly. I just used a rag. It's Minwax stain that I got from the local hardware store. I just happened to like the dark color. So I just basically rubbed it on, made sure that I got all the spots that I wanted to be colored done, nice and soaked in, and that's cured for about a day now. So let's go ahead and jump into final assembly. I've got all the pieces ready and lined up, and we're going to start with putting the lugs back on the drum, so let's jump into that. Well, here it is and we're all finished and I have to say I'm actually quite shocked how well it came out being that I really don't know what I'm doing but as you can see here I've got room for my cell phone I've got room for a drink or a bottled water I have room for my iWatch I even have a little hole here for my drum key I have a little slot here for my electronic cigarette and I have two holes here for drumsticks and there are actually holes drilled down in the bottom to keep them pointed straight up and the holes are drilled in two different sizes. This slot will accommodate a stick as small as 7A and this slot will accommodate most of the sticks that I normally play with like SD9 drivers and the Benny Greb Signature Vic Firth. And if I needed a little more room, I actually have this open space right here that I can set my wallet or anything like that on. Now another added bonus to this little DIY project, because I decided to put floor tom leg brackets on here, not only can this stand up on its own and be either on my right side or my left hand side, but because it has floor tom legs, it can support its own weight, I can actually hang a regular stick bag like you would off a of floor tom as you can see here. So now I'm not limited by any drumstick bag. I can go out and purchase any stick bag I want now and not be limited by the fact that my older stick bag was able to have a tabletop like this. I now have my own little tabletop. It's highly customized. I can hang a regular stick bag on it. So if I want to go out and grab like a brand new Promark Deluxe stick bag or the Groove Gear stick bag, it will work with this as you can see here. And as far as the fit and finish is concerned, I actually thought that it was going to come out a lot worse as far as cutting the holes and the finer points of the top piece, but it actually came out pretty good and I didn't have to fuss with it too much. And as far as the finish, as you can see, especially that I really don't know what I'm doing when it's coming to staining wood, it actually came out pretty good, especially the top piece. It came out very nice and even. The shell came out good, but it does have some 
older marks for where the glue was glued on originally for this time, but all in all, I think it really came out well. And we're back, and now the question is for you. How do you manage all of those little accessories that come along with playing drums? Do you just throw them on the floor? Do you throw them in your stick bag? Leave me a comment below. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun making this little guy. And as always, with DIY projects like this, I learned a whole lot. So remember, if you want to stay up to date on the latest drum gear, pick up little tips and tricks, and do DIY projects like we did today, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you on the next one.